Here we go. Libra, you look like you've had some, you know, some energy that sort of pulled you back. You haven't been in your, in your, you know, top of your game as you normally are. Um, there's been a, a few good months of that. I'm going to say six to nine months you've been sort of struggling with trying to get um, back on your feet, the way you really feel good and what you want to be doing in life. Um, it doesn't mean that some good isn't already there, though. There's plenty of that. I mean, you're not a terrible person. You're actually a very good person. And you do a lot of good things for other people, too. And I think your your kindness shines through. But it isn't mushy. You don't have the mushy kind of kindness that, um, let's say, a Cancer would have or, or even a Taurus, to be honest with you. Um, although Taurus is a mushy bull, a little bit different. <laughs> but Libra is more of a cool commitment, cool kind of energy, which is at least stable. In some ways, it is um, a very contenting energy and it's very assuring. So there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, however, I'm going to say as far as relationship goes, there's some healing that needs to happen. There's some discussion that needs to be happened. I think if you're in relationship, you're enduring something that isn't really, um, it isn't, um, it isn't, it isn't making you feeling super warm and cozy. There's something going on there that isn't exactly as you would like it to be. It doesn't mean it can't get back to whatever it was. A lot of Libras just get sidetracked. You're just getting sidetracked and then you just got to sort of rein it all in and refocus. But I'm going to say the next, uh, this month is going to prepare you for a very good year coming. Okay, for sure. It's going to prepare you for that. Um, so, you know, have some confidence that everything is coming into balance for you. Um, if you've, uh, if you've been uncertain of things and not had a whole lot of activity, maybe you've been sleeping, maybe you've been resting, isolating, that type of energy, a lot more activity is going to happen in December and you're going to be around a lot of people that you like, that you love, um, that you feel good about and around. So, you know, just work with that. I say some good news is coming your way regarding uh, finances or, or um, what would you call that, um, investments, uh, that kind of thing. I do see some passive money. I do see some easy money or whatever you want to call that. Uh, you didn't have to work super, super hard for it. That's a, that's a good thing. <laughs> and if there is some opportunity for you to get more money, um, I would take it. I would uh, do the work to do it. Because I'm going to say that a lot of you Libras face maybe something unfair or unsettling or um, unreal or unexpected um, in the workplace uh, in the in the previous days. So there may be some opportunity to resolve some of that and to make the, the job or the work that you're doing a little easier on you and a little more, um, just a little more energizing, a little more fun, okay? So, and here's a good thing. You are going to probably have a change in your home environment. Um, that um, you'll have lots of good conversation, uh, flow of energy that leads to some sort of love. Maybe it isn't a love affair, but it sure is a good feeling of feeling loved or feeling liked or feeling appreciated, that type of thing, okay? So that's coming for Libra. Um, if, if a relationship actually comes to you, I'm being told to tell you to wait until January before you make a decision. December is not a good month to be making a decision for you around love and love affairs. Okay? Don't forget that Mercury's in retrograde. In fact, I wouldn't advise anyone. If I would advise anyone to actually get into a new relationship, but if you have a, a let's say an old flame returning, uh, something like that might um, might require you to give it a second thought. And I'm not going to say no, but I am going to say slow, okay? That'll be a better thing. Go slow instead of going fast. But certainly put it on the table. Certainly give it some thought. Certainly there is opportunity and hope there, okay? And there's nothing wrong with standing in a quiet position. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. So let's remember, Libra is connected to... Um, uh, Mercury and so I mean for Venus excuse me Libra's connected to Venus um, but this energy is also very affected by the energy of Mercury retrograde so please be mindful of that usually what happens around Venus born 
um, signs is Mercury does put them in questionable, when it's in retrograde, will put them in questionable positions regarding love, and not just love affairs, but friendships and fi and relationships with family. So even though you're saying that blue, I still say you 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 may like to be quiet, but you may have some situations come up in the um, family situation as well. Okay, so the, also with the eight of wands could um, put you in a position of an airplane. <coughs> Maybe you can take some trips um, uh, by air. Uh, ooh. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I know that you, I know a lot of Libras will feel like staying slow, uh, solo, uh, but um, I don't know what it is that's going to shift the energy for you, but you're going to start thinking about, you know, maybe it is old relationships that will come to mind. Maybe it's the holiday seasons, being alone that's going to strike it or, or stir it on. Uh, maybe you just don't like where you're at in your house um, in your home, in your life. Uh, but I do see you doing some reviewing of all of that. Uh, maybe you don't have enough friends. Maybe you don't put a lot of energy into your friendships. All of that kind of stuff, okay? I do think that um, all of that is going to um, make you do some thinking. And maybe look at your part in not... Um, having good relationships and what's what are you doing are you are you buying into the wrong relationship what is it you're doing and this is the thing relationships do take a lot of work and that's what the seven of cups here the seven of cups says that you're gonna have a lot of thinking around that that you know do I want to put the effort in um, but you'll probably be faced with old um, circumstances, old thoughts, old memories. Um, even some old people will come back into your life and make you, you know, really think about what you're doing or what you haven't been doing and why you're not doing it. So there will be a lot of thoughts, is my point, regarding um, love, relationships, friendships, all of it. All your relationships, you're either going to uh, cut out people that don't serve you, the, the needs you have or you're going to um, uh, walk away from uh, circumstances that you can't change, even though, let's say it's family and you, you don't want to have that argument, you're just going to walk away from it. It doesn't mean you'll walk away from them forever, but you're sure as hell not going to put the effort into things that don't feel like you um, could even possibly make a change or make any effort or make any adjustments in someone's mind. Some people are just stuck where they're at. It's okay. Leave them there. Okay. Um, now, remember I said there might be some opportunity for you to re-engage something in the workplace. Uh, maybe there was something unfair, unjust, unsettling, something like that in the workplace. Um, it could be that, I mean, it could be as simple as being forced to get uh, the um, the uh, vaccine and it causing problems. It could be as simple as that. It could be that you got forced out of a job because you didn't get the vaccine. It could be something, something like that. And um, what I can say is, let's say you got kicked out of a job. Well, you're either going to get offered the job back or you're going to get offered money for the lack of job, something like that. Or there will be some sort of, uh, some sort of retribution for sure. Okay. Um, any Libras in the room who've actually had any um, um, side effects to any of the vaccines, all of that kind of stuff, uh, very interesting to see that that is in your reading. Uh, so there will be some um, interesting conversation with others regarding the unfairness, injustice of all of that. 